Right, turn 30, and got a bit of a confession to make. I deleted turn 29. <laughs> I did it with Devon and recorded it. Sorted out my videos because we're getting a bit messy again, and I deleted it. Oh, sorry guys. Um, was it an exciting turn? A couple of little bits, I suppose. Lucky rolls the dice and what have you. So I have to do a recap what happened turn 29. Well, sort of blend it into what happened here. Um, around Sea House and then, uh, <laughs> going back one, um, these, Mushka, uh, whatever they call, I can't remember now, Swedish, uh, um, cavalry, they appeared up here, a lot of Russians appeared here, I put some guns up here, couldn't fire because of a building there, so I moved them there, uh, slowly but surely bringing reinforcements up, some more reinforcements did turn up, however, I'm di diverting all them towards Sea House and, Around Goldsdorf, it was a case of sorting my lines out. Looks like he's pushing there with the Prussians. And along here, sorted my cavalry out. And that was about it. <laughs> that was a quick recap. And just judging by here, nothing's changed much, to be honest. Um, he's actually pulled back with his cavalry from the last turn. He did have them down this sort of area here. And, yeah, same old in the woods. Um, I brought some artillery forward last turn, so I can unlimber that now. Oof, that's a big old stack, that. Um, yeah, pushing with cavalry. Ah, I think I did have some cavalry there, so he's obviously... And they've disordered. Um, where have they gone? Okay, uh, and then brought, I brought some more cavalry here just to because he was bringing up these guns here. So I just wanted to threaten them. So I did bring some cavalry from Denevitz, the Germans up here, replaced them at the crossings. So that's about it. Um, oh, he's got nice, pretty lines. <laughs> right, I'm going to get straight into moving um, and sort my lines out and then get back to you, I think. Righty ho, so choose the bag. Um, just kind of tidying my lines, really. I'm just trying to bring some cavalry up back to that little crevice down here. Can't really see it on the 3D view. And bringing the infantry over to protect them with a square. And then I'm going to inch forward. I mean, he's got a lot of cavalry still floating around, just in small pockets, numbers, a bit like um mosquitoes or gnats or something like that but um there we go so bring that square forward do have a little bit of artillery up here we can just sort of take pot shots at him i suppose not with the pop guns again okay and that's about all i can do there and that's all i really want to do uh and again it's just going to be a bit boring in this woods Taking pot shots at these very sturdy Prussians because you know uh, how many ta oh one gun gone how many um, shots have I had against them and they're still there pretty much the, I'm going to say at least twenty turns fifteen to twenty turns and they're still there fair play to them. And we'll have a go at those troops. And um what much we can do. Still disordered. Um, all right, so around the bridge, um, all I did here really was unlimber that artillery, so that'd be good to go next turn. And we can take some. Let's have a go at the guys in Nidisgustorf. Nice. Indirect fire. Never check this how so always get caught with that one. Um. Uh, where are you? There's one gun gone there for sure. It's a bit better. 
And they're a bit far for anything other than pot shots. Skirmish for them, why not? Because we can. They, um, they're going to come out of the way. All they're good for, really, is protecting the guns. They've spent. Um, what have we got down here? So, down here, I moved my uh, disordered. I think even with movements like disorder off, they still go through a check. It's not as nowhere near as severe, thank God. Um, but basically, the proximity they go through... Um, a, a dice roll to see if they're going to get disordered or not. With it switched off, it, or with it switched on, it is extremely heavy handed. I think I've mentioned it before in video of stories of, you know, 15 plus units disordering for the sake of one cavalry squadron appearing and things like that. Happened to me in the battle as well. Whole Prussian cavalry, reserve cavalry. Um, one or two squadrons of guard cavalry appeared and my carefully planned and placed charge or perspective charge disrupted and I got pissed off with it and I had to say no sorry can't blow that anymore and thank you to the guy um, who allowed me to sort of vent that it, it did ruin the game it really did ruin the game uh, but it seems to be a bit better now and well the fact that we don't play it um, okay however I do have some heavy cavalry here that's where we're at here and we're going to charge these poor dragoons Now, I was going to say, they should be no match for Karasses, but they were. Hmm. Okay, um, square, going to get some artillery in them. Oof. Mind you, canister shot from six guns up close, and they've still got 500 odd men. I would be surprised if they're still there. Okay, my German cavalry that's moved over, Prince Adam and my... Oh, both Prince Adam. Um, I'm just lining them up just to see what he's going to do here. I do have a little bit of ground. If he sets up that artillery, I've got a bit of ground here they can get into and be protected by all and come down here. Um, or potentially even threaten the artillery. Um, but we'll have to wait and see with that one. Not going to... Um, I'll tell you what, I will continue it. Just to push them out of the way. Oh, okay. Um, what else we got? Um, and just basically sorting lines out. Um, a few units are starting to disrupt. These guns are still here. They deserve a medal. Because they've been there for as long. I don't know whether they've been attacked. I would say he has, because they're at 80%. So there's two guns gone. Or one gun gone. Do my maths right. Not going to push forwards with my lines. He can come down to me. Um, I do have some artillery that we can just start chipping away at the side of these battalions. I think I'll have a go with cavalry with this lot. Slowly but surely, these um, divisions are coming up across the field. Very slow going. Some artillery coming up the road. Probably going to set them up on this high ground. That would be an ideal spot around here. So it's quite imperative that we actually hold this high ground now. Which I think we will. Or we could push forward. Um, do have some reserves. It's some are a bit spent. Some there, some there. We do have some here and some Legers there. Uh, Seahousen. Um, I've pulled out of Seahousen. Or I'm pulling out of Seahousen. I'm going to set up a battery here by this little hamlet here. Um, as a little fallback position, build up some forces and see what we can get up to. Uh, he had charged some of my cavalry up here. Didn't do much damage. Um, however, but I'm just going to slowly uh, but surely pull back. Um, into a bit of a better position. Just got a bit. He's got a big old battery up here. Russians with their bloody loads and loads and loads of guns. <laughs> um, and round here, what have we got? Can we? Yes, we can. Ru 
Ruskins. So they're going to get here in about two or three turns, and hopefully I get enough forces up. I've got quite a lot of forces coming up there. I'm quite pleased with that. And um, what reinforcements have I got? Uh, that's a fancy looking Chevrolet Leger Westphalians. So you're also going to go to the west. Fancy looking, but they're, they're kind of C quality, so they're not great. So that's where we're looking at the end of this turn, turn 30. I do apologize for the other video. Didn't really miss that much. Um, how are we doing for victory then? So, uh, uh, still on for a minor. Lost three leaders, so I've lost another one. I think he was one, if I'm not mistaken, that was just sort of replaced one turn, died the next turn. Uh, ten to six artillery. He has lost awful lot of cavalry. I oh, mind you, so have I. Um, and infantry, he's losing that one as well. So it is very evenly poised. It is very evenly poised. We'll have to see. That's quite fragile in the middle round with Goldsdorf. Needles Goldsdorf got a strong position there. Um, I think I could hold that. I probably am holding the woods. I think most of the action is going to swing on what goes around Seahausen and Goldsdorf. Breaks my centre. Different story. Gets across. Well, if he breaks me anywhere, it's going to be a complete change of plan because, you know, as I said before, if he manages to push me from the woods, then he's going to hit me at the rear there. And then he could just basically sandwich all these troops here. And then if he's got something up in, um, uh, what's it called here? Jutterberg. If he's got any forces there, they can creep in behind as well. I'm quite thin in this area here. I'm not that... don't have much there. And what else have we got? A lot of reinforcements. The big question, though. The big question is what does he have up here? Will I have enough with what I'm sending up, or am I overkilling it? Don't know. Got to risk it. I do have some scouts up there, however... They're going to get blocked off. They can't really go anywhere. They've seen lots of Russian cavalry. Lots of Russian cavalry. Lots of Russian cavalry. Some more Russian guns, of course. You know, what's a Russian corps without 17,000 guns? Um, and he's going to, looks like he's going to fortify Blondsdorf. So, my original plan of going up to this woods, these woods here, that's long gone. I am going to have to hold my own and okay and if I um okay for goodness sake <laughs> are, is just everyone playing today are they all right <laughs> that's it okay um forgot my train of thought now um I'm going to have to try and hold my own out here and push them back. Got to get concentration and force somewhere for this last half of the game and then push them. That's the only way I would do it. At the minute, everybody's getting spread out real thin, as he is, though, but then that's just going to lead to a stalemate. And it's just the numbers game, then. What we do need to do is push him out, because if he starts taking victory points, or victory locations, then he will start to win the points battle. Ekmansdorf seems a hell of a long way away. And this victory point is within arm's reach, but there's no way I can get near it. Zutterberg I could go across the river. There is a little cross in there. Hmm. 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 I have an idea. They are going to go across country. And go over one of these little crossings and scout out Zutterberg. Well, that's what they're going to do. A little bit gamey. Well, no. I'm not going for the victory point, necessarily. Um, you know, scouts would scout a big town like Jutteberg, so I'm not... Uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, I'm not bothered that it, it seems a gamey function. It, it's not. It's um, sending scouts to do a scout's work. 
Anyway, I will send this over to Devin. Thank you very much for watching. I do apologise again for not recording the last video. Um, I'll tr well, I did record it, but just deleted it. I will make sure I don't do that again. 10.31 then. Uh, from Devin, and let's see what we got down here. Uh, see houses for a start. And he's not following me. I thought he might follow me. He's following up with infantry though, but I'm going to get my... All my cavalry out there and wait for my reserves coming up along this road. Do have some more coming down here, but they're going to be a while off. Uh, so it's going to be a holding job at Seahausen. Um, what have we got up here? Russian cavalry haven't advanced either. Um, and what have we got here? Just scouts. Oh, a lot of cavalry. So these chaps are going to have to spread out, not just on the high ground, they're going to have to go pretty much up to Melensdorf as well. Uh, what do we got with our... I keep saying Germans now, but there's a lot of French here as well. Golfsdorf, I'm going to say. Um, did he charge there? Possibly he did. However, I will withdraw them, bring them back. And he's brought a lot of cavalry up. So, I'm going to have to... I have some guns. Try and protect my right flank here a little bit more. A little bit weak there. Do have some odds and sods that I might just bring in to play... Troops that have routed, disordered, sort themselves out, push them back into the line and create something in this gap, basically. Cavalry line for a charge. Dragoons are still disorganized there, so I can't use them. I can use 100, but they won't do much. Mm, they might do 40 cavalry, 50 cavalry, and 8 guns, maybe. We'll see. Guns are still there. Um, and he's not pushing forward at all here with anything there. He's almost like he wants me to go towards him. Well, I'm not taking the bait. At the minute, anyway. And uh, Nidis Gustav looks to be the same. Nothing much has happened. He's got some routed skirmishes from Jaegers by the look of it. And up in the woods, same old. Ah, he did go with his cavalry. Um, they're on for a charge. They'll be charging for charging's sake. And there's still nothing at Jutteberg. Okay. Business as usual then. Um, I suppose hold the woods, sort of skirmish where I can with cavalry, bring my cavalry back into protection of the squares. Take pot shots at whoever I can on the hill. Same with Niedersgersdorf. Sort out my line on the right-hand side of Goldsdorf. A bit of a gap opening there. And he's bringing some artillery up. Denovitz possibly would be vulnerable. We're on turn 31, so we've still got a few to go. Um, bring my reinforcements up here. I'm going to have a concentration of force at Goldsdorf itself. Just sort of this area to the northwest. That's about the best place I could hope for. Do have quite a lot of reserves coming up there. All of these chaps are going up towards Melonsdorf now. And yeah, there we go. So I think about that done moving everyone around. That's what we're looking like, big picture. Really, really spread out. Four areas that we're dealing with. We're kind of three now. No, no, it's still four. We've got around Sea House in here on the left, Golfdorf in the centre, Niedersgersdorf at the sort of crossings there, and then the woods up here, sort of to the west of Jutteberg. So, yeah, nice and spread out. We've still got 20 odd turns to go. Uh, let's start with uh, around Sea House in this area around here then. Well, we'll start with, we've got some combat here. We've got that, that horse artillery, so we can. Take some pot shots, just pushing back a little bit, hopefully. They're out of range. Oh no, not selected. I think they are out. Oh no, they're not. Uh, uh, continuing just to bring reinforcements up, basically, and hopefully hold that ground there, and he will do the same. He's getting a, a big old battery there, Blonsdorf. That's going to be interesting to try and take it. That'll be a lesson in how to take a well dug in artillery battery in John Teller. Almost impossible. Almost impossible. Um, artillery is overpowered. I don't mean the artillery itself. I mean the artillery men. When you attack them and melee them, even from the side, even if they're limbered up and moving, they seem to be superhuman. So it's very much combined arms. You can't fire on everyone at once, so you've got to draw a feint somewhere. 
and then coming from the rear or the side. It's, it'll be interesting if we, if we get that far. Um, Seahouse and then pulled everybody back, unlimited some artillery, have blocked line of sight for a lot of artillery, but he will start moving and these two batteries will be able to get some opportunity fire. Uh, this one won't, just because I run out of movement points. Um, so I'm going to bring all my cavalry back here and then slowly but surely wait for some reinforcements, which are on their way, but they're a good six, seven turns away. Goldsdorf carried on bringing everybody up. Um... We've got some horse artillery here that we can turn on his cavalry. That's exactly what I'm going to do. We've got a big old battery here. That's the only thing that's sort of concerning me. Can't see them. Good. Um, and these guns on the side of these line troops up here. Still 500. Big old battalions. And... Uh, what I did notice is there's a bit of a gap here, so directly north of Goldorf. So I brought these troops forward and have to start thinking about having a bit of reserve here because he could actually, for all intents and purposes, punch a hole through there. And let's bring Duro back and bring up some reserves here just in case he decides to get a bit smart. Um, we do have two reserve battalions that can sort of fill in and punch that gap. We do have some reserves up here as well. These guns, the indomitable guns that just won't seem to give up. Um, and what else have we got there? Got some line troops that can fire. So I'm actually quite weak on this hill as well. I'll show you what I've done here in a second. After all this opportunity fire subsides and no defensive fire. Okay, we've got this square and we'll duly oblige. Canister shots, nice. Gone down to 400 now at least. No square there. Right, I'm going to have to be a bit brash on this right hand side because he's got a lumbered, uh, lumbered? <laughs> an unlimbered artillery battery here that he's set up. And that's going to cause havoc on this right hand side. He's getting more there, and I think I'm going to have to risk some charges. I think that's the only way that I'm going to be able to sort this out. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. Aksaman Tauskowski. <laughs> God. Um, I think I'm going to have to risk some charges here. That's the only way. I bet I run out of steam before I get there. I knew it. I knew it. And that's going to ruin these guys' charge as well now. I wish I didn't do that. Is what it is. Bloody Germans. Um, fields, that's what's done me there. So he's going to turn around, he's going to limber them up, and they're going to get slaughtered. And they're going to get sorted there. So, what can I do about this? Filling in the gap with these odds and sods, I'm bringing them up, but... They're just going to get slaughtered, as I said, by these guns. Very well placed, them in. Um, case of reinforcements coming up, but they're a long way away. Can't really press a feint anywhere because I'm so thinly spread. Um, I'll tell you what. You're going to go on a suicidal charge. <gasps> oh, God. Uh, one reason I don't like... Oh, God. One reason I don't like phases... Um, sorry, unphase play is because of that. A cannon or a battery like that in 10 minutes... Let's say it was a little bit further back in a 10-minute turn. Or even 15-minute turn. Wouldn't fire that much. There'd be so much smoke, confusion. Um, at least with phases, you get one defensive fire, and that's it, which is a lot more realistic. But well, there we go. It is what it is. It's the nature of the beast, let's say. And what we're going to have to do now is try and sort out this mess. It could have worked out. I could have pulled it off, but it just didn't. And accident. 
or whatever his name is, is responsible for the death. That's all on him. Of many dragoons. Right, let's get some payback up here with our artillery. And see what we can do about dislodging him from Niedersgersdorf. But the only place it's going really well is around here. Um, guns there. Uh, what else have we got? So... I don't even want to look at Goldsdorf at the minute. I am often quite brash with my cavalry. Sometimes I'm really cold and kept cold. Careful. It's early morning. Careful with my cavalry. Um, other times I take what I think to be calculated risks and just end up throwing them away like that. Um, I'm around here then with his cavalry. Managed to, unbelievably... These Italian line troops, I think it's because they had Moroni in with them, didn't disrupt... By the presence of cavalry so that movement threat disorder and proximity when Devon watches this back if you've got a leader there he can really bolster them and they don't get disorders um, got some artillery here just Cossacks you got there not many okay And managed to get these chaps into a position, hopefully, to charge next time. Again, run out of points there. So you might come there, but they're in a position to charge the next time, which is good. Uh, five guns. Might as well fire on some more cavalry. No effect. Must be our pop guns. Three pounders. Um, what else have we got? Another opportunity fire up here. And he did write some more skirmishes. I think he was just firing on them continuously, I would say, with artillery, which is tends to be a bit of a waste. I mean, I do it from time to time just to have something to shoot at, but... As an overall strategy, I wouldn't recommend it. It's, it's unnecessary. Fontanelli's um, hmm. still there with a the guard. And they're getting whittled down slowly. Um, what else we got? Okay, um, what else have we got around here? I think that's about it, really. Um, I'm going to carry on my my little mission around the river and come up to the road then and I'd say and that's about it really what are we doing victory wise minus a lot of cavalry both being fresh brash with our cavalry by the look of it free lead it's <coughs> Still on for a minor victory. Numbers creeping up though, both sides. I'd say for him, my artillery is taking its toll, especially around Needles goes off. Dodgy ground here. I'm uh, probably the. I wouldn't say worried, but the most concerned about this area around here on my right flank. A, because that cavalry charge was useless. They're not going to get any protection. I'll bring them back down here. Um. Just because I'm really, really open there, and there's a big gap, and my reinforcements aren't coming up for a while. I do have a lot of force here that I'm not really doing anything with, but I want to build it up. What I don't want is for the Swedes and the Prussians to join up. Good battle so far. It has toed and froed, that's for sure. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm going to get on with my day, send this back to Devon, and see you on the next one.